what we need to emphasize is not necessarily recreational use of marijuana. We are not too into that. We have to look at the health, the medicinal benefits. It is on that note that government is facilitating a ganja research and development project. The National Foundation for the Development of Science and Technology, NFDST, has signed a 10-year memorandum of understanding with the Jamaica Medical Cannabis Corporation Limited, JMCC. The corporation has committed two million US dollars to undertake the ganja research. Research and development is very critical because a lot of anecdotal statements are being made about Jamaican cannabis being the best and we are not even sure right now what is really Jamaican cannabis at this stage. The Science and Technology Foundation will manage and disburse those funds to a research consortium that will execute the project. As we take your Jamaican product around the world, we hope we will do it, do you very proud. We must use science and technology to go ahead of the game. And that's where it's going to be because in another two to three years, when the floodgate is open, if we don't have something above and beyond what everybody else has got, we are just going to be another place. Science and Technology Minister Dr. Andrew Wheatley says the identification, isolation and conservation of land strains of cannabis for medicinal use projects can be a tool to catapult Jamaica to a leadership position in medicinal cannabis use. We have to position ourselves, we have to take on the mantle, we have to do what we need to do to ensure that Jamaica stake its claim as it relates to medicinal marijuana research. We possess the ability, the know-how, the technology to go beyond the traditional characterization. Using molecular genetic tools, we can with more certainty, use molecular markers to identify and characterize different strains. And I must tell you, when we have done these identification and characterization using molecular tools, the information or the data that we will gather at the end of the day will be data that cannot be disputed because of the technique that will be used in a truly joined up government approach, it was through the Ministry of Health that the Medicinal Cannabis Unit was recently established. This unit is mandated to help build a framework to facilitate the development of a medical marijuana industry in Jamaica. Minister Wheatley reveals that to date, the unit has registered approximately 61 medicinal cannabis products manufactured both locally and overseas. The world is opening its doors to cannabis use and Jamaica is positioning itself to be amongst the first to create, discover, and enter new frontiers. We are doing this not only to ensure the sustainable development of the plant, its products and use, but for the growth and development of our nation.